My work as, uh, as a rheumatologist and scientist has changed over the years depending on what we find. And so when we first started studying genes and autoimmunity, we were studying T cells. But as we did that, we identified something abnormal about B cells in people who carry these genes that increase risk for lupus. One of the interesting things about B cells is they're vital for our development of our immune response. In autoimmunity, we know that people develop antibodies against their self tissue, and they don't develop in, in healthy people. So we're very interested in how the genes that you have may determine that you will have B cells that make autoantibodies. We think this is one of the first signs of the development of an autoimmune disease. They typically arise years before anyone gets sick. And if we can understand why that's happening, we think that's a place we can intervene to prevent uh, the development of disease. As a rheumatologist, my patients come to me and they already have their disease. But I'd like to move us back to start thinking about prevention, where I think we have a chance to cure the disease or prevent it from even happening. How do we detect the people at risk? How do we intervene with um, something that is very safe but that can prevent them from uh, developing the disease or ever needing one of our long-term uh, treatments? The way I see genetics helping us prevent lupus is that genetics is giving us the hints we need to understand what's wrong with the immune system. And my lab, as well as others, have gone on to show that we can develop assays to look at your blood or how your immune system functions that tells us if you're at risk for lupus. It's one step away from the genes, but it's a test that we can do. There's many genes that could lead to lupus. You don't need all of them, you just need some of them to get the disease. So we would like to develop blood tests that let us say, you've got this problem, I don't need to know your genes. So it's complicated, but I think it's giving us the tools to move forward.